What up everyone, it's your man xman 87 here bringing you another Mofix video and what I have for you today are the Mofix reveals from Metacom Toy Exhibition 2023. Before we get into everything, if you could please leave a thumbs up like rating on the video, it'll help show your support for my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Now with that said, let's talk about them. Mofix was out here trying to take over San Diego Comic Con weekend without even being at San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> I love Mofix, so we have to talk about these reveals because they were bangers across the board. Some great variety across Marvel, DC, Star Wars, and my favorite TV show, The Boys. The resolution might not be all there because I just grabbed these random photos off the internet, so I don't know who most of these images belong to. So if it's all over the internet, it's fair game. If you took the photos, let me know and I'll pin the comments to give you credit. Let's go over them and see what they were all about, starting with Star Wars. So we get Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker from The Mandalorian, and I wish I could see more of this figure because he's covered in his cloak, but from what I see here, he looks good. Face looks like Mark Hamill from afar, and there's some nice vibrancy on that translucent lightsaber. This is one many will be gunning for. It's Master Luke! This may very well be the best ever Luke Skywalker figure. Then we get an unpainted forelom on display, and this is cool that they are going to do some bounty hunters. But come on, look at that Darth Vader. It's just gorgeous. First thing that pops to me is that glossy shiny helmet. It just pops so nicely. Love his build and the bendy wired cape. I hope his skirt piece is bendable too, but it looks plastic. I hope not because I want him to move, but those slits look sharp like plastic. Damn! The lightsaber has a swoosh effect to it. I'm looking forward to seeing all the accessories him and Luke come with. Moffic Star Wars is so good. I had a few of them and the accessory selections along with articulation surpasses any Black Series figure. You always get multiple heads and hands, especially force push hands that are important for force users. I don't collect Star Wars anymore, but I might just get this and Luke to fight each other all day. And that's all I need. <laughs> they look amazing. Then we get the boys. Yeah! I can't believe they're rounding out this team so quickly. From left to right at the top, there is Black Noir, who's already out. Homelander, who I have, and he's freaking awesome. Starlight, I believe, is on her way next. And Billy Butcher, who's been out for quite some time. At the bottom, we get the newest reveals in Soldier Boy, The Deep, Maeve, and A-Train. Soldier Boy's sculpt goes so hard from his shield to his aesthetics, the texture and all of that. This is just a prototype and it's already delivering. The Deep is hilariously fun to look at. He's painted so damn well. I wish they really painted the others. I need those visuals. But he's got really nice details all throughout. At least one accessory is confirmed with his soda can he's holding. Holy shit, it'll be so funny if he comes with his octopus. <laughs> the funny ass photos we'll see of that will be priceless. A solid offer. Queen Maeve was the reveal I wanted to see most out of the boys line. From what I see, she doesn't disappoint at all. Not even the slightest bit. I'm interested to see how Mofex tackles her paint deco because most of their figures have bright paint decos and Maeve is going to require a lot of dark shaders in her color pattern. The one thing I wanted them to include is a set of crossed arms and I'm so happy to see that here. I said if they make this, then they captured the character. Even better with that facial expression on that head sculpt. Damn, they made my queen right. Already in my top 10 wants for next year, along with Soldier Boy. Lastly, A-Train. He looks really good. Again, nothing but great sculpting work here and trails of great aesthetics that follows from this line. I wonder what kind of speed-like accessory effects will they give him. I'm so pumped for these. So close to completing the boys and the seven. For the boys, we just need Huey, Mother's Milk, Frenchie, and Kimiko. And the seven, I believe, all we need is Translucent and Stormfront, right? I don't know how deep they'll go in giving us guys like a lamp lighter, but I'm all for it. On the DC movie side of things, some of these figures are already up for pre-order, or some are still waiting to go up for pre-order. So we get the Zack Snyder's Justice League and what looks to be a three-pack from what I'm hearing with Superman, Nightmare Batman, and the Joker. I was talking to the homie Ace, aka Animated Heroes. Give him a follow on Instagram or sub to his YouTube channel. And when I spoke to him, he think it's being offered as a three-pack because Jared Little Joker is not suited to be a top seller on his own due to his unpopularity. Who knows? So that's not a definite, but we'll see how he's going to be offered. 
Superman looks good. I'm going to miss Henry Cavill, my favorite on-screen Superman ever. Nightmare Batman looks buff and tough, and that's all I'm going to say. I think he's going to have some kick-ass accessories. I'm sorry, but this Snyderverse Jared Leto Joker looks sick, man. I love how they went with soft goods and then making it look so dirty. Really looks like I picked them up from my dustpan after sweeping the floor. The bulletproof vest has a lot of attention to details. More Justice League figures as you can see the rest of the team here from Cyborg, Flash, Batman, and Black Suit Superman. Aquaman is somewhere hidden in there. I love that Black Suit Superman, but I'm gonna stay away from these. If you are a Zack Snyder Justice League fan, then this is for you. Also, Flash will get a figure from his own movie. Don't know how that'll sell for them since the movie didn't do so good at the box office. I really enjoyed that movie, but I want Moffix to do a Keaton Batman. Speaking of Batman, the Batman looked good on display. I think I might get him if they announce a Riddler to go with him. I hate when companies do movie Batman figures with no characters of the movie to go with that respective Batman. They had the Black Adam with the throne on display and it looks sick. Everything about the figure is sick except for that head sculpt. It doesn't look like the rock at all to me. It's pretty much garbage and takes me away from the rest of the figure. Then another Black Adam figure was revealed without the gold in, mostly in black with the hooded cape on. Now onto the comic side of DC which is exciting for me and warms my 90s heart which is the reign of Superman Superboy. This is my all time favorite look of his. I had the vintage figure, I had the DCUC figure, I have the McFarlane figure and now I have to have this one. My only concern is that I'm not feeling the head sculpt that much. Something about it is looking off to me. Maybe I need to see a better angle and also seeing the alternate heads would help. I'm gonna reserve judgment and wait until everything is revealed but not feeling confident about that head sculpt at the moment. He needs his glasses on, it's killing me not seeing it on him. Everything else is on par. Actually, it's above par as I didn't expect him to do a fabric coat for him. Thought they would keep it as a plastic sculpt. He's on a flight stand and I would have loved to have seen how he scaled since he's supposed to be shorter and having a muscular teenage physique. So I have some concerns, but overall, can't help but to be excited. Then I see Eradicator hovering behind them and I can't wait to get that figure. I believe I have him pre-ordered. He should be available right now. Anyways, I think Superman Red and Blue are next. I think this might lead to us getting a big Moffex Doomsday figure soon with a battle damaged Superman. That's going to be one of their biggest offers ever made if so. Now onto my favorite Moffex line and that's Batman Hush. Riddler is a must have. All the Batman characters are must haves for me. This is my favorite look of Riddler with the suit and the bowler hat. I think they used some of the Joker parts to get this done and it fits. Like the paint on his Riddler cane and the question mark on his tie. It's such a neat touch. The facial expression is perfect. Just perfect. I think I've been driven to the point of insanity under Scarecrow's Fear Toxin because this figure is pure insanity. The face sculpt is scary looking and so damn sick. It looks insane. The sculpt on the stitchings, ropes, and everything else you see here is flawless. Moffix is where it's at for me with Batman figures. Just with the Hush license alone, they have access to do every single Batman villain since they all appeared in one big panel. Even the heroes too, and I'm always looking forward to who they'll bring in next. Now let's go over to the Marvel side. We'll start with the movies quick and the comics. We have Infinity Saga Black Panther from either its first film or Civil War. He looks good. I'm sure he's going to be very fun to pose. That Vibranium Spear looks nice too. I don't get their movie figures, but I think this one is okay. Then another Black Panther from the Infinity Saga. It's his endgame version and even comes with the Nano Gauntlet. Now this is my favorite MCU Black Panther look with the purple. He just looks so much more awesome with those added colors. Purple is one of my favorite colors, so maybe that's why it's my favorite look of his. He definitely looks like he'll be fun to pose as well. We get the No Way Home Tom Holland Spider-Man, which in all honesty might be the best looking sculpt for this suit. Hard to judge without paint, that's why I'm just going off the sculpt, but it looks good. I'll be passing on this though. Okay, so this next one will turn out to be a must buy for me and probably for everyone else. I've been holding out on the SH Figure Arts one and this Moffex Tobey Maguire is it right here. This is going to easily trump both SH Figure Arts and Marvel Legends. Already the proportions look better than both, but I still need to see him in a vanilla pose to justify my final judgment. 
I just wish it was painted to see if they got the correct reds, blues, and the webbing color. I'd like to see how they tackle the lens too. But where's my boy Andrew Garfield? Did I miss him? Because I only saw these two displayed. How are they going to do my mans like that? <laughs> I hope that figure comes out mind-blowing, which in Mofex I trust. Since I don't collect MCU Marvel Legends anymore, I'd sell my Legends versions to have the Mofex Toby and Andrew on my display. These are going to be it, Toy Fam. Jumping from movie Spider-Man and now onto the comic Spider-Man, we have Spider-Man 2099. This might not just be on everyone's top 10 list next year, but top 5. This sculpt is so smooth and clean, the forearm blades, the logo sculpted on the chest, and won't just be painted on. I can see a little bit of his webbed cape behind him, the razor sharp looking claws. That head sculpt is all the money in the world. I'm sure Moffix will kill it with accessories here, as they always do for their comic Spider-Man figures. And I'm also hoping for a Miguel O'Hara head. This one is on my top radar next year, as a comic Spider-Man 2099 was my most wanted Spider-Man figure from Moffix. Next up is another figure I feel will be in others top 5 for next year, and it's a classic comic Daredevil in the all red. After messing with Nightwing, this year I said, yep, we are definitely getting a Daredevil figure. First of all, they got the two red color tones right. The gloves, boots, and belt are all sculpted on, even the double Ds on his chest. The head sculpt is absolutely Daredevil, like that is the definitive looking Daredevil head. My only gripe is that his physique is not all there. He's way too lean with not enough bulk. Mafex needs to have a comic body that's beefier. Like, this is okay for a Spider-Man 2099, but they need a different buck. Otherwise, you're gonna get the Marvel Legends effect where everyone looks the same, only under an $80 import price. I don't think people would want to continue to pay that much for the same body over and over again. But maybe I'm wrong. He has his billy clubs, and I really want to see his accessories. The hand options will be there for sure. I'd also like to see a Matt Murdock head, one without the glasses. I think they can make blind pupils look good on a figure. I can't deny though, as much as I wanted him to be a little more buff, he still looks amazing and once in hand and I start posing him, I'm probably going to forget what I said. <laughs> Stealth Iron Man was an easy repaint for them to do, my favorite Iron Man suit, so these blue colors with the red just pop. I would like to get this, but I'm content with my Marvel Legends one. Mofex is continuing their X-Men Age of Apocalypse line with Cyclops and Wolverine and... <laughs> Hell yeah, I want that Cyclops more than anything. This is how you get it done. Marvel Legends absolutely failed with theirs. No receding hairline here, the boots are sculpted, and overall just better proportions. That face sculpt is killer. I'm dying to see what his accessories are, and most importantly, the paint applications. Wolverine just came out wild with that crazy hairdo. You can even see like three strips of bangs in front. I love it. He has the red slashes on his forehead and not the chin. He sometimes has it on his chin too. But they gave him the all white pupils, which is different. The slashes came out sculpted onto his chest. Their Wolverine buck is beautiful. I love the Legends Wolverine body buck more, but they have the second best one on theirs in terms of proportions. Obviously, Mofex has the better articulation, but wow, look at those claws, man. I love them in the metallic silver paint. I wish Legends would paint their Wolverine claws in metallic silver. Best paint deco on a Marvel Legends I've ever seen was the chrome deco in their San Diego Comic-Con exclusive X-Force 3 pack, and that was beautifully reflective. I can see Mofex totally doing some chrome claws. They've done chrome before, like on their Star Wars Captain Phasma figure. Ooh, now I'm thinking of a Moffix chromed out silver surfer. <laughs> okay, okay, x Manny. Now I'm getting carried away. As a huge AOA fan, I'm just so happy to see Moffix continuing that series. Next up, we have the solicits for the Avengers Classic Captain America. With Captain America being my favorite Avenger, this one hurts me because I feel like I would want it, but I do don't, as it feels like it didn't meet my expectations for their cap. The body is off. This is what I'm talking about, that Moffix needs to work on their bulk. The upper body is fine for the most part to me, but the legs are too scrawny and doesn't look like it goes with his upper body. Speaking of the upper body, there's a huge split on top of his traps. I don't think this will be the case when getting it in hand, but they took a page out of Hasbro's book by promoting their own QCs. <laughs> it's, it's not a good look. 
Also, his face is too damn pale. I know he's a white boy, but he's like ghost white. Not even a slight of complexion. The unmasked head is cool with an additional fold over mask, but the grinning teeth is butt ass ugly. It looks like he's got braces on. He'll have some accessories like of course his shield and a throwing hand to attach to it, which is nice. I would have liked to have seen some throwing effects for his shield, but we get nothing. The shield straps look huge. I know you can wrap it around his arms, so you know, you can attach it onto his back. But it looks so damn big to the point where I think it'll have a loose fitting through his arm. I don't know man, so far their Avengers team is not looking so hot. Iron Man is their best one. They dropped the ball with Thor's scale as he's too damn small. I don't care how good he looks. I don't want a midget Thor in my collection and now this cap with all its flaws, I'll have to pass. For me, doesn't look worth it to invest in their Avengers team. Captain America is up for pre-order now. You can get him on AmiAmi to get fair import prices or overpay Big Bad Toy Store's bullshit scalper prices. Then lastly, one I'm stoked for is this Phoenix figure. She looks so damn good and it's that metallic gold that's just visually striking on top of that green, black, and yellow color combo. And you know what? This might be their best female body. The hips to thighs ratio looks really good. I can tell the sash piece is interchangeable with a flowing look and one that's just dangling down. I wish they went with a fabric wired one to capture your own poses the way you want it to look. The solicits say she has four heads in total, but I only see three here. I think they all look pretty good. The neutral head, maybe not so much. The yelling head, I really love. Looks like that classic look out of the comics and that old school fashioned curly hair is something we haven't seen on any Phoenix figure. It's different and I like it. The flowing hair with the white pupils is my favorite look out of the bunch. The flowing hair with the white pupils is my favorite look out of the bunch and I love the orange streaks on her hair. My thing is, where's her flames? I thought they would go all out with Phoenix and give her some crazy big fire effects. Are they saving it for Dark Phoenix? I'm not too hopeful here as I thought they would share the same accessories between the two if Mafex ever made the two Phoenix versions. If Dark Phoenix doesn't come with any crazy flame effects, then it's a big L. I wish they gave us some more extra goodies for this price. I still want it, and I'm still going to get it, as I want all their Ladies of X-Men. This is certainly way better than the Green Legends version, but I was just expecting a little bit more. Phoenix is already up for pre-order. Now, my final thoughts is that Moffix killed it over the weekend, and they continue to make my wallet lose weight by each reveal. A lot of heavy hitters here for me. I'm excited to see the community excited for these incredible figures we get here. Even ones I'm not big on still caught my attention. It's a great time to be a collector. We have our options. So if there's a version you didn't like of a certain character, whether it was from Moffix, Hasbro, McFarlane, Bandai, or another company, whatever applies here, you name it. At least we have our options and we can all have fun with whatever we choose. I'm still hoping for a classic Jason Todd Red Hood from Under the Red Hood. That's my most wanted Moffex figure. Anyways, let me know if I missed anything. I'm out. Now I kick it back to you. What did you think of these Moffex reveals? Which ones were your favorite? And which character from Moffex would you like to see made as figures next? Comment below. Let me know. We'll chat about it. Thank you for watching. Please follow me on Instagram if you haven't already at xman87. Hit the notification bell so you always know when my latest videos are up. Share and subscribe if you're new. See you on the next video. Peace, peace.